Welcome to Senior Scene. I'm Doreen Beener, and with me is Dr. Cecil Herschler. Welcome to Senior Scene, Dr. Herschler. And we're very excited about this program that you have. It's called Pulse Signal Therapy. What exactly is it? Well, thank you, Doreen, for inviting me to be on your show. I'm very pleased to be here, and I'm especially pleased because I'd like your viewers to know more about it. Pulse signal therapy is a new therapy for the treatment of arthritis of any joint in the body. And I'm talking about the entire spine, neck, back, shoulders, knees, hips, the jaw joints or the temporomandibular joints, and even the little bones in the ear where pe for people who have tinnitus or tinnitus. Um, to explain pulse signal therapy, what you have to understand is that every single joint in the body contains soft tissues. Some of them contain cartilage, synovium, and these soft tissues have an electrical field in them. They have electrical signals in them. In the same way that we have electrical signals in our heart muscle, in our brain, we have electrical fields in our joints. And only when those electrical fields are correct and in the correct orientation, and the correct amount of electrical signal in those joints, do the joints heal properly. When we lose cartilage, which happens with wear and tear, with aging, with trauma, with disease, when we lose that cartilage, the joint changes and that electrical field changes. Pulse signal therapy is a technology that involves passing magnetic flux through the joint and each time that flux passes through the joint it creates an electrical signal it sets up a proper electrical field which regenerates cartilage which reverses arthritis which takes away pain immobilization dysfunction it helps people to become functional again because their pain is reduced that sounds very exciting when was this first discovered it turns out that the whole research into the electrical properties of joints started way back in the 50s and 60s. A Japanese researcher at that time found that if you squeezed bone, you got an electrical current. It was called a piezoelectric current. From that, they developed the first bone stimulator, which was a magnetic coil that they put around a fracture in bone and when they stimulated the bone with that magnetic flux, bone cells grew across the fracture line and they could get union. And there's many clinics now all over the world in which they have these magnetic coils to stimulate bone healing in a situation called non-union. And that's been around for years. It's extremely safe and it's very, very powerful technique. Pulse signal therapy is an evolution of that, where we still use magnetic coils, but they design differently for the different joints in the body. It's the same principle. We pass magnetic flux or magnetic pulses through the joints, and each time the pulse goes through the joint, it creates an appropriate electrical current. It's called streaming potentials, mm -hmm. which gets cartilage to grow, gets the joint to change, and people's pain goes down, their range of motion improves, and their function improves. Mm -hmm. So we're going back to the 1970s when the first paper was published on bone healing, and now there's numerous published papers on the effects of pulsed magnetic fields on joint disease. And not only on joint disease such as arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, but even on soft tissue injury around the joint. So people that have had problems with tendonitis or inflammation of the tendons or problems with ligament damage, motor vehicle accidents, for example, where you get trauma to the ligaments, muscles and cartilage, even those tissues respond in the same way to the healing effects of those pulsed magnetic fields. Does it help with carpal tunnel syndrome? It helps with carpal tunnel syndrome. For those people who don't know, carpal tunnel syndrome is where you get compression on the little nerve that goes through your wrist. Now usually that little nerve called the median nerve goes through a tunnel of soft tissue and bone. And again with arthritis, with wear and tear, with lots of overuse of the wrist, you get thickening of the ligaments, thickening of the bone, and that tunnel becomes smaller. 
we get the same effect. We can get reversal of that effect using pulsed magnetic fields. The beauty of pulse signal therapy is that it's non-invasive. There's no injection, no drug, no surgery. You only have to treat the joint or the area for nine successive one-hour treatments. So nine hours total. And once you've completed that treatment, usually in a two-week period, within three to six months, there's reversal of the symptoms in 75% of people, which means that in my clinic, for every 100 people that goes through, 75 of them are going to say there's an improvement in their symptoms. 25 will say there's no change. Nobody says that the treatment makes their condition worse. You don't feel anything when you're having the treatment, and it doesn't invade you with any drug or surgical procedure or manipulation of the joint. How did you hear about this, Dr. Hirschler? Well, I'm a specialist in physical medicine and rehabilitation, and for about 15 years, I've been dealing with people that have chronic pain. And the type of people who come to me are people that have long-lasting pain, sometimes for years, many of them for many months. And usually it's pain that's associated with degenerative conditions such as osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. Or, in many cases, it's people that have had sports injuries, hockey injuries, tennis injuries, golfing injuries, where they've injured the soft tissue structures of the spine or of the shoulder or of the knee. Or it's people that have been involved in motor vehicle accidents or job-related trauma. So these are the types of people that come to me to get help for their pain and for the fact that they can't work, they can't function at home. And uh, I don't think I have to tell many of the people watching the effects of chronic pain on a person's life. It stops them from working. They lose their independence. They lose their self-esteem. It, it brings about mood disorders such as depression, even suicide. And uh, so it has a tremendous catastrophic effect on a person's life and on a family's life. These are the types of people that are coming to me for the last 15 years. And up until I learnt about this new technology, I tried to do the, the best that I could. I had a team of therapists, physiotherapists, chiropractors, uh, massage therapists, acupuncturists, um, anybody that could possibly help people to manage pain, because that's all we could do. We couldn't promise in any way that we could take away the pain. We could, we could help them to cope with the pain better. That was my job. Two years ago, I was introduced to this uh, treatment, pulse signal therapy by means of some research papers that had been published in the Journal of Rheumatology. It was, there were two papers, and these papers described research done at Yale University in the United States in the Department of Rheumatology. What they had done is they had studied the effects of pulse signal therapy on a group of patients with osteoarthritis in the neck and osteoarthritis of the knee, two groups. And what they had done is they had run what's called a randomized double-blind control study. All that means is that you don't get any bias in your study. And they took the one group and they said, okay, we have 87 patients with osteoarthritis of the spine, of the neck, and we'll take the, another group also. Similar number, similar distribution of patients, also with osteoarthritis of the neck. Both groups got identical treatments, except one group got the pulse signal therapy. And the people evaluating those groups, the nurses and the doctors, didn't know which group got the pulse signal therapy or not. And when they published their study, they showed that the group that got the pulse signal therapy overwhelmingly did better than the group that didn't get it. And not only did they notice that uh, right away, but as time went on, three months later and longer, they've kept track of them they kept getting better because there's a you know there's a theory that when you just do any treatment to somebody you're going to feel better while you're having the treatment whatever it is that's called the placebo effect well the placebo effect eventually dies out when you stop doing the treatment eventually people uh, notice that their symptoms come back again with pulse signal therapy if it's successful it continues to help the person to improve and that's the brilliance of this therapy if it starts your cartilage to regenerate, then, then at some point your body starts to take over and all the normal things that keep you healthy, activity, walking, uh, putting cyclical pressure through your joint, 
that helps the joint to stay healthy. That starts to take over. The problem is when you've got a severely arthritic joint or an inflamed joint or a swollen joint or a joint that's limited in movement, you can't even get to that point of exercising it properly because it's too much pain. So that's when pulse signal therapy comes in. You get the treatment, it starts the healing cycle, and then you can take over. You were mentioning treatments on the ear and the jaw. Up until probably a few months ago, um, I had treated only the neck, the back, the shoulders, the knees. I hadn't treated the smaller joints in the face because I didn't have the right coils to do that. And I had treated about 250 to 300 people with about a 75% success rate, which is identical to the success rate in Europe. I then received information from the clinics in Europe that they had noticed incidentally that in certain patients when they were treating the high uh, region of the spine that some of them were reporting that their tinnitus, or sometimes said tinnitus, which is pounding, drumming, buzzing sounds inside the ear, that those symptoms were being reduced. So what they did is they actually went and designed a coil that fitted around the face so that we could put the magnetic flux through the ear or through the small joints of the jaw. I have now treated six patients. All of them have tinnitus or throbbing or drumming and some of them for many years and my success rate is 50%. Three out of the six have reported improvement. One of them, total removal of, of a sensation, of a perception of noise that she'd had for 10 years. So this is extremely exciting. What, it, what, what I'm, I'm hoping is that I'll get people coming to me so that I can get a big enough number through and I can distinguish which people will respond to this and which won't. We don't really understand tinnitus fully. We don't know where the problem is. But it sounds like if the problem is in the, the bones or in the, or in the soft tissue attachment to the little bones, if that's the region that's causing the tinnitus, then you've got an extremely good chance here of getting relief. If the problem is in the nerve itself, then you've got less of a chance of success. Because this treatment does not help nerves to regrow. It doesn't help nerves to reverse injury. It helps cartilage to grow. It helps bone to change. It helps joints to change. And if secondarily to that, you have a problem with tinnitus, it's going to help your tinnitus. In the same way, it's going to help people who have TMJ or jaw joint problems. If you have problems with chewing pain when you chew, if you've got disc or cartilage problems in those little joints, this has the same 75% chance of helping you in a non-invasive way with no side effects and no pain. And in a way that if it works for you, it's permanent. You don't have to keep coming back for treatments. Mm -hmm. This is what's so exciting and, I'm, and I just published a paper on it. I just took the first 100 patients that have been through my clinic and we compared those patients that had osteoarthritis of the spine and pain with a group that had just soft tissue injury. Motor vehicle accident trauma to ligaments of the spine, job trauma to ligaments and tendons. And we compared those two groups and we get the identical success rate. 75% reported success from this treatment. You say this treatment has been going on for some time in Europe and in the United States? In the United States they've been doing research trials and that the reason they're doing research trials or multi-center trials is for the purpose of getting FDA approval. It's a very lengthy, detailed process, an expensive process to get FDA approval. My understanding is these trials are continuing and that they're hoping to get the FDA approval in the next year or so. In Canada, the Health Protection Branch gave approval for this treatment quite rapidly and there's now about four clinics in Canada, of which I'm one, and I've been uh, doing the treatment on, on patients for two years and are up to about 300 now. In Europe, 15 years of treatment. In Germany, they've got between 300 and 400 clinics, mainly associated with orthopedic surgeons' offices. Mm -hmm. So as part of their assessment and treatment, if you've got severe arthritis of your knee, before they're willing to do surgery, 
they'll do, they'll do the treatment to see if it works. If it works, you don't have to have surgery. And I've got countless cases of people who've come to me who've cancelled surgery. Um, one of the examples of this was a, um, a young man from Los Angeles who was a composer. He had a disc herniation, that is a bulging disc that was pressing on a nerve root, causing him incapacitating back pain that he could only lie on the ground. He couldn't sit, he couldn't stand. He composed music lying on his back and uh, working on a computer suspended from the ceiling. He didn't want to have surgery. He flew up here. By halfway through the treatment course, he was pain-free. He was walking around Vancouver. Two years later, he's still pain-free. This is an incredible, that's just one of the stories. Many people with severe arthritis of the knee in which surgery has been suggested, these people have come up here and they've responded positively and have declined surgery. Some of the material you gave me mentions MRI. Is it like MRI? Yeah, well, in a sense, it's like an MRI because an MRI involves you lying on a bed and, ha and, and being pushed into a big donut-shaped magnet. Well, pulse signal therapy involves the same thing. The, the difference is the magnet that we use is 1,000 times lower in power than an MRI. So when you go for an MRI, you're having 1,000 times the power. So it is so low energy that I don't, even a watch doesn't get affected by this magnetic field. It is extremely low energy, and that's one of the reasons it doesn't have any side effects when people go into it. Um, we've had many success stories uh, that are just thrilling to be part of. Um, one recent one comes to mind is a, a young woman in Vancouver who's 40 years old today and when she was 20 she had fusion of her spine and over the years had developed severe arthritis at both ends of the fusion to the point that she could hardly hardly bend without pain um, she tried yoga and increasingly as the years went by she couldn't do her yoga positions because of pain Ironically, she's a counselor. She's a pain counselor. She she helps people cope with pain through uh, Meditation and counseling well, she encountered a few Patients that had come through this treatment who were telling her, you know, I've responded to the pulse signal therapy She said I'm gonna come try it Well, I'm kidding you not she, she had a brilliant success. By the time, within two weeks of the pulse signal therapy, she repainted her entire house without pain. She's doing more things at yoga than she could ever have conceived of in her life. It, it's just wonderful if it works. It's just wonderful because here you have someone who for 20 years is getting progressively stiffer, can't move, increasing pain, can't function, very depressed very down about her life because she's an active young woman, wants to be active, and comes and does two weeks of treatment, and two weeks later has a completely new vista about life. And it's now three months later, and it's still without pain, and I guarantee you that she will be still without pain in a year, and two years it's permanent. I had a, a tennis player from North Vancouver, a B-plus tennis player, She's in her 40s, maybe even her early 50s. Two years ago, began to get back pain. It developed so fast that within months, she couldn't hold the tennis racket. She couldn't go on the court and spend minutes because the, the standing with the tennis racket um, created such back pain, she had to get off the court. That, she went now, she went through everything. She went to orthopedic surgeons, they couldn't do anything for her because it's osteoarthritis of the back. She did physiotherapy, chiropractic treatments, massage therapy, went through all the medications until she got to the point that she couldn't tolerate it because of the side effects. Had the treatment, within a week of the treatment, went to Hawaii and played 10 f successive days, only tennis. It's now a year later and she's still without pain. Now, I'm not going to pretend to your viewers that this is a magic cure for every single person, but it has a known 
documented now in numerous studies, 75% success rate. I can vouch for that. I've just published a paper in a peer-reviewed journal on a retrospective study confirming 75% success rate. It's non-invasive, it has no side effects. It is dramatically effective in people with arthritis and chronic soft tissue injury. I can't guarantee it for 100% of people, but it is, it is highly effective. I see in your clinic you have various apparatuses. Can you explain which each one of them is for? In the one room you'll see beds with big donut shaped magnetic coils. Those are for the treatment of neck, shoulders, low back, hips, or any part of the spine. You'll also see smaller coils on tables. They're either for treatment of the knee joints or ankle and foot or hand and wrist. So the smaller coils are for the peripheral joints, the big coils are for the spine, hips, shoulders. Also just behind me you'll see the little coils that we can treat people's jaw joints and the tinnitus, the, the, that very disabling sounds in the ears. Um, I should add that um, for any one of your viewers who wants more information, they're really welcome to call us. We've got uh, a wonderful nurse here who will give them a lot of information, Pat. And the phone number to call is area code 604-732-5938. I'll just repeat that, area code 604-732-5938. I also give free seminars once a month, so they can either get information sent to them by mail, or they can even come to the seminars. The only difficulty is our room, our room size is a little limited, so they've just got to book their seat. Mm -hmm. You're on email as well? We're on the email, and uh, the way to get me is, uh, well, it's Herschler, uh, spelled H-E-R-S-H-L-E-R, -E at home, H-O-M-E dot com. And uh, so they can either phone us, we can mail or fax them material, or they can come to the seminars once a month. It's free. They can come for free uh, information. And I'd be delighted, and so would Pat or any one of the nurses, to talk to them about the therapy. What other types of professional sports injuries have you treated? I was going to tell you another story, and uh, the one I wanted to tell you about is a, a football player from the uh, Calgary Stampeders Junior RU. He wasn't treated at this clinic, he was treated at another clinic. He apparently ended his professional career because of crippling knee injuries. And you're going to hear more and more, by the way, about sports stars. You've heard about Wayne Gretzky. That's not the only one. There are many, many professional uh, hockey and um, football players that have a risk of arthritis. And please, if I want them to come and hear about this treatment. I think not only are we going to help prevent disabling career-ending injuries, I think we're going to help them get back into the game quicker. Anyhow, Junior RU had to stop because of knee injuries. He came and had this treatment, and after the treatment was able to run up and down stairs without pain in his knees. So he's an excellent example. We've even had um, an ex-Vancouver uh, Canuck, Darcy Roder, who had uh, quite severe back pain, which was disabling his golf game. As a result of the treatment, his golf has improved. This must be very exciting for you and your staff. It is very exciting, and I want to really thank you for taking the time and the interest to come here and, and allow me to share these exciting stories. And I think that this is a major breakthrough in the treatment of arthritis and chronic soft tissue injury. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Hirschler. Wish you. you all the best. Thank you. Stay with us, because in a moment, I'm going to be speaking with one of Dr. Herschler's patients. With me now is Leo Aquino. And Leo, I understand you're a professional accordion player. Yes. What brought you to this clinic? I heard an interview with Dr. Herschler, I think that Croft Woodruff was doing, and uh, it sounded very interesting to me because uh, about a year and a half ago, I was scheduled to play a concert in Seattle, solo concert, and my left hand shut down. And to make a long story short, it uh, turned out to be um, due to a deteriorated disc in my neck. And uh, so that the vertebrae are sitting down on the nerve pathway in my left arm. And uh, then it, I became 
very interested in the possibility of this PST pulse signal therapy as a, as a possible way of regenerating the disc. Well, I hope we see you back on stage performing soon. Yes, not only that, um, but uh, I have many uh, fellow musicians in the Lower Mainland. Um, in fact, uh, some of them are in the commercial world. I play both worlds, commercial playing as well as classical. And, and I've gotten to know many of the people in the Vancouver Symphony. And uh, I must say that some of them have experienced injuries from a lifetime of playing with different instruments. So we're all waiting to see <laughs> what the results are going to be. Well, thank you very much, Leo. It's a pleasure, Doreen. And for Senior Scene, I'm Doreen Beener. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.